Good Sunday morning, YouTube modeling community. Pappy here at West Georgia Rods and Customs. Hope everybody's doing well today. If you're wondering why I am showing a scene from my shop out here in the garage, I have uh, decided one of my New Year's resolutions was to kind of start uh, upping a lot of my game as far as some tools and things like that and kind of get away from the old way of the way I used to do things when I paint. As you can tell, this is just an old empty Miller Lite case box that I don't drink anymore, so that probably tells you how long I've had it. I've, <laughs> man, I haven't drank in about four, about four years now. So I have uh, kept this one. This is what I've been spraying in. I have been using this as my paint booth, slash paint booth, uh, for quite a while. And you can tell from just uh, all the residual paint and paint dust and things like that that I've been using it for a while. So, uh, New Year's resolution comes in. I'm like, you know what, I'm going to up my game, so I'm going to build me a paint booth. Either buy one or build one. And looking at a lot of, uh, you know, looking at a lot of what everyone uses, anywhere from the plastic ones to the steel ones to building your own, I elected to do it and build my own. Uh, I watched Don Yost's uh, video about paint booths the other day, about possibly, you know, uh, if you know somebody that does sheet metal work, get somebody to uh, bend you one out uh, for a few dollars. And with that being said, that's great. Uh, a lot of guys, you know, if you know somebody that's uh, in the HVAC trade or sheet metal trade, I'm sure they would do that for you for a little bit of price. Uh, and the reason not to, you know, push away from anyone using the, uh, you know, using the plastic ones, the plastic uh, type of paint booths that it's available in the market, yes, they're cheap, but uh, as what you could, uh, what he was describing, you get, a, there's an electrostatic charge that it just draws dust in there. And that's that's uh, the nature of plastic. Number one, you're using something plastic to you know to do a paint job with uh, to draw dust away, but it's also drawing dust into it with that electrostatic uh, charge that's in it. So I elected to build one uh, out of wood, and what I, I, I'm 99.9% finished with it. I'm gonna show y'all what I've done. But this is what I did. I went to uh, uh, my local uh, Home Depot and purchased this is just a bathroom exhaust fan 21 dollars for this thing and uh it draws uh i think it's 50 cfms which is a it's actually for a room uh about 10 by 10 which is a you know you know a nominal size bathroom and that that pulls any of the exhaust better known as a fart fan out of the bathroom so i'm not don't have anything quite that large. I'm just, I'm gonna show y'all what I did as far as I built a, it's a 24 by 12 uh, paint booth. And let me just, uh, let me just show y'all, and this is, this is kind of proof in the pudding. If you notice right there, $53. And that was just for all the materials. Well, let me flip around. It's a beautiful day out here in, in West Georgia today, so. Uh, got the garage door open and I'm really enjoying everything. Give you a little tour of my garage, which I like to do. <laughs> I like the artwork. But this is what I came up with. Uh, just a, you know, basically just a small 24. It's 24 inches, you know, uh, width. It's 12 inches tall and it's 12 inches uh, deep right there. So it's a, the top is about eight. The uh, uh, the front of it, I take, yeah, that is a foot. So it's 12 inches right there. We had an old table uh, that we, it's, it's been sitting out here in the garage for a while. So I just decided instead of taking it to Goodwill, I'll just use it for, uh, to roll around. It's got good wheels on it. I can set my uh, air compressor down there on the side and it's got filtration right there. It's a 12 by 12 uh, air filter. It just, I just taped that in there. It's got a little surface right there on the top uh, for the, uh, you know, for my paint stands, my uh, my air brushes and everything to sit in that stand. But let's flip it, let's go around right here. Uh, show y'all what, uh, it's three quarter inch uh, birch plywood that I constructed it out of. So it's very durable. Uh, as far as this is the, uh, right here where the, uh, this is the fan that's, uh, inside, you know, that draws into it. Uh, I just took a, just a regular, uh, 
uh, just a regular uh, steel, I call them 1900 boxes, and mounted that to the back where the wires come out, put me a toggle on it, and and uh, just done it like that. I got the, uh, of course, yeah, forgive me, I got my, this is the uh, wire, or that's the cable for the uh, airbrush right there. But I put about a, uh, I think it's about a, about a six foot uh, uh, plug-in connector, uh, grounded plug-in connector to it. Uh, that way I can roll it around here in the shop, you know, change positions with it and I can plug it wherever I need it. Now, as far as the filtration, I got the filter 12, uh, 12 by 12 by one filter inside the cabinet itself, but I vented everything out into a bucket, which uh, I've already had some test runs with uh, just running it for about 30 minutes. I had no problems with this, but I vented it down into this uh, two gallon uh, paint bucket, which you can buy those at Home Depot as well. That was part of the 50 buck purchase that I uh, uh, made initially along with the uh, uh, the exhaust fan. The tubing was about $12. Uh, only used, what, eight inches of that. But you had to buy, I think, 12 foot of that. So, And that's just three inch, uh, uh, it's just three inch duct work uh, for bathroom, uh, bathroom uh, exhaust fans. Uh, I took, uh, there's a little fitting that comes up. I cut the opening in the lid and uh, push that. Uh, it's a three by, it's an adapter. I pushed it up in there and then I taped it real good with the uh, aluminum uh, HVAC tape. And that's how I've got everything done right there. What I'm gonna do right here is uh, we're gonna turn it on and I'll show y'all. It's very quiet. The draw is very good on this thing. So I've already tested that with like some uh, some talcum powder. I squirted it and it sucked it right into the filter. So I know that it'll draw any type of paint, whether you know whether it's a uh, uh, enamel, lacquers, acrylics, things like that. So we're gonna turn it on. Very quiet, <laughs> and uh, we'll flip back around here now. What am I doing for lighting? Uh, Home Depot sells this uh, under-the-counter lighting. It's actually battery powered. So I got them mounted up under here. Touch, and there you go. Paint booth extraordinaire. And uh, I'm going to step back a little bit further, which I'll see. I'm sitting on a, a small stool I've got out here, so it's quite comfortable for me to uh, do any painting. I will eventually, uh, I'm going to take some... Uh, uh, I'm going to actually seal the inside of this and the outside with some clear varnish. Uh, I'm just going to, I got, I didn't thought I had some, but I didn't, but I'm going to do a clear varnish inside there. That way I can wipe it down as needed. Uh, before and after I paint, I will be taking uh, some, maybe some construction paper, laying down in here and bringing it out here to the lip. That way, uh, uh, the you know, when it starts building up paint, uh, on the surface, I might even do the walls and even the back back here. Uh, that way, when it starts getting you know contaminated with overspray, I can change the filter, change the paper, put that back in there, and I'm good to go again. But uh, all this for under under uh, under a hundred dollars, pretty much well under uh, I think seventy dollars total. Uh, I did have to go back, had to buy some other little doodads uh, to finish this with. But by the time I bought, you know, the wood, things like that, the, uh, uh, as far as the electrical, the fan, the whole nine yards, you can build this thing for under, uh, close to 70, probably 70, $75. So, but if y'all got any questions about this, drop me a, you know, drop me a link, uh, drop me something down below in the messages. I'll be glad to, uh, share dimensions with you. But this is, like I said, it's 24. This opening is 24 this way and it's 12 inches tall this way. That little lip right there uh, across that hides the light right in here, that is, uh, it's about an inch and a half strip uh, that way. The top up here, of course, is I think it's 25 inches or maybe 25 and a half. And then this depth right in here is about eight inches, which with the, uh, with the floor surface right here, from right here to right here is 12 inches. So, but if you got any questions, feel free, drop me, a, drop me a question down there and I'll try to answer as many as quickly as possible. Folks, remember, if you can dream it, God bless y'all, happy out of here.